They are calling it the Great Cruffin Caper. Tonight, a sticky finger thief is holding on to hundreds of recipes for success. KPX 5's Mike Sugarman on the hunt for the Bakery Bandit. The need for dough in this town is rising. People hunger for better things. Could a half-baked plan like this serve as the recipe? No, I don't think so. Rice Stephen knows a lot of things, especially about baking. But about this? We have no idea. No. It was Friday, February 27th. The day was warming in this Tenderloin neighborhood like the baked goods at Mr. Holmes' Bakehouse, low and slow. In the wee hours, uh, someone came on in to Mr. Holmes' Bakehouse and uh, helped themselves to the recipes up here. Hundreds of them for his trademark cruffins. That's a muffin with croissant dough. California croissant. Seaweed and salmon wrapped the same way. They line up for this stuff. Can't make enough. Could it have been some tart on his staff who stole the recipes for his success? They didn't do it. No, my staff is awesome. I stand by my staff. I can vouch for that. He actually stood next to his staff the entire time I was there. Could be a rival baker, but so far no clues. It is a picture perfect crime. They got cameras all over the bakery. In fact, one's aimed right at the spot where the theft would have happened. And it all works pretty well now, except on the day of the theft, the monitor hadn't yet been set up. So right now, they've got surveillance, but no surveillance tape. He's got copies, so that's not a problem. Police are looking for someone with sticky fingers. Mike Sugarman, KPIX 5. There were no signs of forced entry at Mr. Holmes' bakehouse, but the front door was unlocked when the first workers turned up last Friday morning.